The nuts on tour, rolling in the motor home, moving town to town, never feel alone. Hi, I'm Sue. Hello, I'm Drax. Haha. <laughs> Well, today our video is another in the Van Other Collective and uh, we're talking about my favourite subject, food. <laughs> <laughs> Come on Mumpty, hey, we're talking about your favourite thing. Yes, I know, food, food, food. Hey, are really? you going now? Go on then. Oh, crap. That's it. Another Didn't really want to sit there. Another scratch. So, to the rest. welcome to this vid. This is another in the Van Other Collective, as he said. Uh, this one uh, is all about food. Uh, please take the time to watch all the others in the collective. Uh, there will be a video up and around somewhere. So uh, watch all those. Uh, the links will be down below in the comments. So you can just click on them and it will take you straight to them. We were challenged this time with doing uh, the meals that we like to do in the van plus one in a ready steady cook style so uh, first of all everybody loves an all-day breakfast yeah so wow. uh, first one is an all-day breakfast done on the Cadillac 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 what however you want to pronounce, pronounce it. it on the old Cadillac uh, the second meal is uh, chicken in an edible bowl with uh, spicy spuds salad salsa and then peppers and onions that's uh, we like that one that's quite easy to prepare and <laughs> we're playing no, we're no. jumping up and down on the daddy's bouncy seat there's, there's a doggy walking past so no we're not going out to play his seat's like a trampoline <laughs> yeah, and up we <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can't step on that one there's a case on it yeah uh, the third one uh, is our treat meal. We like steak and mushrooms. So it's steak, mushrooms, onion rings, tomatoes, caravan potatoes and peas. The steak and all the rest are done on the Kadak and uh, the peas are done inside on the either on the gas or on the induction of. Uh, fourth meal is not a meal, it's a dessert. Sweetsers. Our take on a sweet pizza nice for a dessert and then last one is the ready steady cook which is a crispy serrano tricolor or tray color or tree color or three Tri -color. color yeah <laughs> bruschetta so uh, yes all meals that literally can be done coupling them we showed on the caddick they could be done just as easy on a big skillet on the gas hob or on a frying pan on the induction hob. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which way you cook them. That's, you know, whichever you've got. I mean, we've got we've got three different ways. We Well, four different ways now that we can cook things. Uh, we can use the Kadak, which uses gas. We can use the cooker inside, which uses gas. We can use the induction hob, which uses electricity, or we've got the wood-fired pizza oven, which we've got the tray for, so we can actually use that for cooking steaks and other things other than pizza. Oh, yeah. Ceramic plate for pizza and... and the grizzler. The grizzler, that's grizzler. it. The grizzler. Anything grizzler is, plate. it grizzles everything at speed. <laughs> yes, you have to have everything else that's not been grizzled ready because literally, it's I mean, minutes. it cooks a pizza in under a minute from raw to finished and perfect. Yeah. If you want to see more on that, I think it's episode 35? No, 34. Either 34 or 35, then. 34, so that's our Uruni, Uruni pizza, uh, pizza wood-fired pizza oven. They do do gas ones as well. But my plan for getting the wood-fired one is if we're anywhere and we're staying for a while and A, we're low on gas and B, we haven't got any electricity, which is highly unlikely, highly unlikely but there you go, then we can still use uh, the wood-fired oven. 
Uh, we've got the little wood pellets and you can use other bits of twigs and woods if you... Like I say, you can do pizzas yeah. in it. You've got a grizzler plate that you can do your steaks and your bacon and all that sort of stuff on. And then there's a skillet. A skillet, yes. You do your bacon, bacon and stuff like that on the skillet. Yeah. So, uh, yes. Please, as we said, take time to watch the others. And if you want any of the recipes... Those stickers will be somewhere in the vicinity. I'll, it's the video now. <laughs> Oh, got the, a vi the video with all the stickers mm. on so please watch those and uh, if you want any of the recipes give us a shout instagon or x or whatever the hell they are now are they? face ache and uh, we can uh, we can let you know the instructions for how to do them well i think steak and steak bacon and egg and that sort of thing is fairly obvious <laughs> for those that cook, yes. For those that don't cook, maybe not so much. Mm. No, I think but most people uh, cook. have a watch at the videos. Enjoy. Enjoy. So the first meal: bacon, egg, tomatoes, sausage, mushroom, cooked on the kadak. As you can see, plenty of room on there for plenty of stuff. And then this is what it looks like when it's all plated up. Very nice. A couple of bits of fried bread. Lovely breakfast. The second meal is chicken in an edible basket. So as you can see, the baskets go on at the last bit just to get them warm. The chicken is chopped up and spiced up with the fajita spices. Same with the potatoes. And then the yellow and red is yellow and red peppers, tomatoes and onions. Just uh, heat them up till they soften up a little bit and then this is what it looks like when it's all uh, plated up or tabled up rather with some salad and some salsa ready to eat. Third meal, another Kadak meal. Steaks, onion rings, mushrooms, caravan potatoes, tomatoes and peas done inside on the gas ring. Again nice and quick to do uh, this is one of our favorites this is what it looks like when it's plated up and uh, ready for us to devour and so for dessert we like these these are sweets so pizza base onto the uh, ceramic dish plate whatever ceramic pizza stone uh, it's got Sue's has got uh, brown chocolate and mine's got pink chocolate on it and then uh, marshmallows on the top and you can have hundreds and thousands or whatever toppings you like as a dessert uh, normally they're heated up to about 200 for just a few minutes until the marshmallows start to melt and then uh, eat them but remember the marshmallows do get very hot but, uh, very nice very nice sweet way to finish a meal off so for our ready steady cook meal we were doing crispy serrano tree colour bruschetta our ingredients were a kayabata cheese tomato avocado onion serrano ham and then we already had wild garlic uh, balsamic vinegar and rocket from the garden as you can see at this stage i've grated the cheese chopped the onion chopped the tomato and on the avocado just put the frying pan on so we're ready to start all right next step pan going on the induction hob i've set that to 600 so a little drizzle of oil in there get that nice and warm while that's warm we shall open up the serrano So here we go, lay the ham in the pan, Two of them. to get it 
nicely done and crispy. So literally a couple of minutes in there. The idea is to get it brown and crispy. So while that's doing, I shall get out a here we go. While that's doing, I shall get out a medium-sized bowl. And into that I shall throw the tomatoes, a little glug of oil, just a little glug of oil, and said balsamic vinegar, just half the vinegar. Crisping up nicely now. Yeah. So once the uh, once the Serrano ham is done to your liking, take that out. At this stage, you can either re-oil the pan, or there's actually enough in there for what I'm going to do. So uh, just move them so they don't end up on the floor. And all you're going to do is put the onions in just to brown the onions off a bit. That's it. And these are supposed to be caramelised, so just let them brown off for a minute or so and while they're doing that we'll lift this and spoon the cheese and garlic onto the kayabata next step is going to be to crisp these up 
and melt the cheese so that's going to be onto so to do the caramelization it's a teaspoon of sugar and a tablespoon of water so that's your teaspoon of sugar not a drop spilt and sugar back away oh yeah that's going well right so turn that back on air crisp four minutes go brown for a minute well, that's browning we shall get the rocket ready That goes into there. I'll give this a mix first. Right, last thing is drizzle a bit of the balsamic on the onion, give it a bit of a tang. That's it. Oh, yes, <coughs> that works. And then last thing to go in here. Yeah, that looks nicely caramelized. I'll turn that off now. Sit. Turn that off and just let that sit. Move my salad to the back there. Put them in there, get rid of my board and put them in the bowl and bring back my plate. Five, four, three, two, one, beep and lush. So Posh cheese on toast. So that's your Kaya batters. Drop that down, turn that off. Next, a bit of the onion on there, like so. The caramelized onion. And then on top of that goes some of your rocket. with the avocado and the tomato tomatoes in the bottom so we'll put the tomato one afterwards there you go with the avocado in with it 
And then lastly, oh, <laughs> she can smell food. Dakota's just arrived. Hey, little girl. Big lad. Oh, it's big dog. I thought it was Dakota. And then last, over the top, the crispy bits. of the Serrano ham. And there you have it. All done. Enjoy. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, of the different meals that we have prepared while being away in the motorhome some of them uh, or caravan and, depending. Um, and i hope you will or have watched others in the van other collective or is it a collaboration van collective. other Colla collaboration collective yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't yeah. know uh, hopefully watch. you watch some of theirs and get some ideas some more i will be watching them well, uh, yeah. find some more different See meals that meals we haven't they, thought of they scrub up while we're you know yeah. everybody has their own take on different meals a little one we uh i, I like a corned beef hash mm -hmm. and i think we've we've asked other people and uh there is so many hashes out there unbelievable i think we've got about eight or nine different uh, eight or nine different recipes if you like yeah. for how to do a corned beef hash from different layers and different potatoes and some just mash it all together do it like a st yeah you could do we could do three meals just on three different varieties There's of corned beef hash yeah. <laughs> well yeah because each one's different some people put veg in some people don't some but it's just hat it's just the corned beef and the spuds gravy oh, yeah. everything. some people don't put any veg in at all some people literally slice a corned beef slice a potato slice a corned beef slice a potato yeah. that's yeah. Mm, yeah different but there you go i mean <laughs> we even now make a hashless uh, hash. no beefless <laughs> or beefless corned corn beef hash corned corn beef hash because i don't like particularly like corned beef well, it depends so you get good and bad i tend so. to uh I get mine dished up first without the hat of corned beef in it and then you, you throw the corned beef in yours. <laughs> when we're with friends, when we're with friends and it's, we're going to be, they, they might arrive at any time and we're not sure and we're the first ones there and we're cooking tea. We'll do that and then it can stay there bubbling away nicely until everybody arrives. Mm. So we quite like that as a meal. It's quite a good one. Yeah, a good easy one, isn't it? Yeah, they can turn up and big chunk of French stick and oh yep. yes, lovely, lovely. Mm -hmm. So, yep. hope you enjoyed it. Have fun. <laughs> Little girls just knocked the table, so the camera went off on one. And also, Drax and Dakota like a lot of the food that we do. <laughs> Not that we can tell from the size of you, because yeah. hey, you're wasting away. As you can see, he's wasting away uh, for just lack of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you thought to that. And the boss has sat in the chair. And uh, yeah, she's been <laughs> she's been jumping in and out of the chair. Dakota's now sat there. There's food, Daddy. I want food. I like food. You always <laughs> like food. You do like food. You like your food, don't you? So there, there you are. There's Dakota sat in the chair, ready to go. Are you driving this time? Oh, big dog's back. She likes sitting in that chair because she can see out the window if anybody's walking, walking past. past. Definitely. You're just a nosy girl, aren't you? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I like to bark. No barking. Well, that's it for this one. We and she's and there you are. She's already left. Well, I hope you enjoyed that anyway. And the little bit of uh Dog fun. Dog fun. <laughs> she's now sat on the floor at the side of me, looking under the gate, trying to get. Yeah, she's ready to, uh, ready to leave. Ready, ready to, to go. Leave. That's it. Please watch the others, and if you haven't already subscribed, you give us a thumbs up, do. ring the notification bell. Please subscribe. It's free. It's free. My favourite price. <laughs>
and to the others in the collective as well would be much appreciated. See you in the next one. Bye. Be safe. Bye. Sharing stories is what we do. Laughter filling the air true. With the open sky so blue.